Hey, it's your old buddy Jazz McKay, the deplorable patriot. And do you ever feel like your government is treating you like a dog? Like they're, like they're training you to obey their wishes. Yeah, I'll talk about that in just a moment. But first, before we go any further, please subscribe to my channel and like and share this video. Also, visit my Facebook page at The Deplorable Patriot. I'll leave a link in the comments below. Let me tell you a story. I'm training my dog right now. Okay, I've got a great dog. Her name is Sophie. She's a, a bull mastiff. She's about 13 years old and if you know about giant breeds you know she's she's really on borrowed time some folks would say she's a great dog she's a real smart dog and i'm training her to urinate in the dirt over at the side of the yard where the flagpole is i've got a huge flagpole in my front yard i'm training her to go to that corner of the yard where there's dirt to urinate in the front yard rather than on the grass now, the reason I'm doing this is because I recently put in sod and I don't want her to pee on the new grass because, as you know, dog pee will kill grass. And she's doing well. She, she's, uh, she's adapting to it. She, you know, I have to remind her all the time. But she's, she's uh, but I know it's hard for her because her instinct, and this is true of all dogs. Her instinct tells her that she should pee all around the yard. Let me ask you a question. When a dog urinates, are, and this is male or female, when a dog urinates, are they just going to the bathroom? Just emptying their bladder? No, they're not. This is true of other animals as well, but I'm talking about my dog here. Dogs, it's a real simple act, but what dogs are doing when they do it, besides obviously going to the bathroom and emptying their blood, they are marking their what? They're marking their territory, okay? It's a simple act of relieving themselves, but at the same time, they're sending out a message to other animals that this is my place, this is my domain, this is my property, stay away. It's an instinct. It's in their DNA. It's what dogs do. Simply put, let me, let me just say this, ba a basic act of a bodily function has a much deeper and broader purpose uh, for them, the act of taking a piss, right? And it's difficult to train a dog to do something that's counter to their instincts. But for the sake of a green lawn, I will continue to try. Like I said, it's working out fairly well. Besides, I'm the master, right? I'm the master and she's the dog. She does what I tell her to do. I, uh, and, and, and she'll obey. She will obey me without question. That is until I look the other way then she may very well defy me and follow her instincts the little things mean a lot some little actions have deeper purpose have have broader meaning a purpose more important than the actual act itself and that's my reason for refusing to wear a mask I'm not sick. I don't have COVID. Uh, I don't have symptoms. And there's no need for me to wear a mask. And even if I was sick, well, if I was sick, I wouldn't go out. But even if I was sick, a mask is going to do no good. It will not stop the virus. I hate to be the one to break it to you, but the World Health Organization and the CDC have recently acknowledged that fact. By my defiance to the mask mandates, I'm saying I refuse to be controlled by anyone. I refuse to go along with the herd for no other reason than I'm being told that I've got to go along with her. I'm, I'm, in a sense, I guess I'm marking my territory, ain't I? I'm, I'm letting everyone know this is my body. 
This is my possession. This is my property. And I will not be forced to do something that I don't think is right. And I'm sending a message also. And this is something that I, I believe bothers those in authority. I'm sending a message to others by not wearing a mask. Not every store I go into requires a mask. Well, they may say so. They may have a sign on the door. But they just as soon not. The, and the employees, even if it is mandatory by their by the dictate of their of their employers, they really don't want to confront you. So I'll go in to the grocery store, the Vaughns, the Albertsons, the Kroger, whatever, without a mask. Sometimes I'll put the mask on. As soon as I get in past the mask Nazi at the front door, I'll take it off. And in my small act of defiance, my small act of resistance, I am quietly encouraging others to take off their mask as well, to stand up for these, uh, to stand up against these nonsensical rules being forced on us by, quite frankly, tyrants in an attempt to, to symbolically train us to obey. That's what this is. Make no mistake about it. That's what mask mandates are. It's a small thing, but it's not insignificant. Look, as an American, it is my instinct to question authority. It's, it, it's ingrained in me. It's, it's in my DNA to push back against any form of tyranny, oppression, or forced compliance to anything that violates my sense of what I believe is right. Americans are bred that way. And that's why, regardless of the most minute infraction of, of, of my freedom or of my liberty, I will push back and I will not back down. I will not comply. You can't shame me. I refuse. It's more than just a mask. You'll hear people say, it's just a mask. Wear the mask. No, it's more than just a mask. You see, what the government is doing is training you. They're training you just the same way I'm training my dog to urinate in the dirt in the corner over by the flagpole in the front yard. They're training you to obey them without question. Even if it makes no sense to you, they're telling us that it's for our own good. They're saying it's for the good of society. And, 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 and that's just not true. It's not for our own good. It's for theirs. And I'm sure that the demands that I'm placing upon my dog to, to uh, makes no sense to her either. <laughs> and the truth is, it's not for her own good. I'm training her to go urinate in the corner by the flagpole in the dirt because it's for my own good. I just want my lawn to look nice. But she'll comply. Oh, yeah. She'll do what I demand of her without defiance. Unless, like I said, I'm not paying attention. Maybe if I'm not looking, she'll go right ahead and do it on the lawn. She'll not walk around, though. She won't walk around the yard sniffing and smelling and then mark her territory because her desire to please me and to make me happy, her master, is more important to her than her own instincts. Whether the mask mandates, lockdowns, or forced vaccination that your government is, for, is forcing on you, whether it's mandates, mask mandates, or lockdown, they're treating you like a dog. They're training you. They, they expect you to just blindly obey do as you're told do as you're regardless 
of what we're doing, regardless of what your elected official, how many times do you see and hear about the people telling you to not go out, to not leave your house, to wear a mask, to not congregate in groups and to social distance, only to discover that they sat down at a fancy French restaurant somewhere and had dinner with 20 of their, their friends or their, or if they're politicians, their donors. with no mask on and no social distancing. You're nothing but a dog to them. They're training you, man. And it, it, regardless of your instincts, they're training you to pee over by the flagpole in the dirt in the corner of the yard. And, and just as my dog will defy me if she can, you should defy your rulers, your masters. You should follow your instincts, follow your, 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 your common sense if you've got any left, if it hasn't been drained from you. You're bred as an American to question authority. And to do what you know is right. Don't let them train you. Yeah, I'm saying disobey them. God bless America. And death to the new world order. I'm Jazz McKay, the deplorable patriot. And I will see ya. Well, thanks for watching. Be sure and like this video, subscribe to my channel, share to your social media, and leave nasty comments below. God bless America, and death to the New World Order.